Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to run through the steps of how to make salt crystals. Um, so salt crystals are cool little experiments you can do at home and the end result, the crystal itself, is pretty fun. Um, so it's a simple uh, process that we'll run through right now. You start out uh, with a jar of some sort with some water in it. Um, most people suggest that you have boil, boiled water that's uh, right at the point of having just boiled, so hot water. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't quite matter whether or not it's hot or cold water um, because no matter what water you have, it's going to dissolve uh, an equal amount of salt. Um, so you have your water in a jar. The next step is you measure out salt. Um, I suggest teaspoon by teaspoon. Uh, so measure out a teaspoon of salt, pour it into your water, stir thoroughly. Um, you want to repeat this process until the salt is no longer dissolving in your water. Um, so as I said before, there's a little debate. Some people say that hot water is going to let you dissolve more salt. Anyway, so once you've dis dissolved as much salt as you can into your water, um, take a paper clip or a ring, something like that, attach it to some string, and suspend it above your jar um, with a pencil. Um, so I didn't have a paper clip today, so I used a key ring. It's going to work the same. Um, so you, you then put this into your solution of salt and water and make sure that the paper clip or ring is roughly oh about a couple of centimeters off of the bottom of your jar. Um, cover it, let it sit, and uh, now it's time to wait. Um, in about a day, you should have um, small crystals forming. If you keep track of it and let it continue to grow, it's going to get bigger. Um, just make sure to switch it into a new jar with new solution if you start to see crystals um, forming on the sides of the jar because those are going to compete with your crystal that you're growing. So have fun and enjoy the steps to making salt crystals.